Ginger's teapot where the tea is always brewing. I'm your girl Ginger Spice and today we have a special guest introducing Asana. Welcome, welcome. I actually thought she was going to say I love Moses. No, we're not going to do that. Um, no, nah, bro, that's actually a bad intro. You're supposed to promote my brand, man. Bro. I was getting there. Can you relax? My, my bad, my bad, my bad. So, Asanda is my brother. He has a clothing brand and he's also um, putting out music at the moment. So, you can check out his Instagram at Moses the Plug and at LM Bible. LLM. What is that? Oh. <gasps> I like M worldwide. Hey, yeah. I knew it wasn't Moses. Moses, Moses, the black. Anyway, yes. I'll type it and put it at the bottom of the screen. Divine Synergy. Oh, Divine Synergy is this clothing brand. Yeah. In the background is Umabu Uto. Umabu Uto adding his own spice and commentary. So, yeah, man. Basically, I just want to hear the questions and the answers. They're going to be fire, bro. Like, why are you tripping? Nah, I want to hear the questions first. Right, so, so, um, on IG yesterday, I announced that we'll be doing a video together and that we're going to be doing unfiltered Q&A and also red flags. So we're going to start with the uh, red flags now and then we're going to move on to the questions because the questions, some are really entertaining, some are, okay, so let's start with the red flags first, I think that's just easy to do. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Okay. So, is it a red flag if they flirt with you while they're in a relationship? Yes. Like, what's you doing, bro? Like, what's your man thinking about? From a girl's perspective, it's always so funny when a guy flirts with you and then you tell him, oh, what about your girlfriend? And he gets pissed. So... Yeah, it is a red flag. Always a red flag. Next one. Maybe he, you're his second choice. Like, well, not second Do choice. Do I look like a side piece to you? <laughs> no, he's trying to decide which one would luck. Yeah, but in, in a way, yeah, yeah, it does depend on the situation. What do you mean? Depends I, like, on what? If I had a girlfriend and we, like, have, like, let's say, for example, we're going through some shit right now. And, like, I see a girl that I do find attractive. I'm probably gonna shoot my shot because I know me and my girlfriend are going through things. Do you not have hope for fixing it? No, bro, like, yeah. I, I'll try, yeah. bro. Like, you know what? Next question. Or next L -L Moses. He can't fix it. So, next one. Is it a red flag? Bob the building. Shut up. Is it a red flag if a straight girl acts gay around her friends or when she's drunk? Yes. Yes, it is. A straight girl. Yes. Straight girl acts gay on her friends. How's I've never seen that happen. Uh, like, obviously, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't have, bro. What you mean, bro? Uh, yeah, I agree. Yes, but then there's also different degrees of it, man. You and your girls at the club or at group dancing together is not gay, but you making out with your friend, but you're straight. Don't do that. Don't Imagine play with she's putting details for this. But when, when we say something about a sleepover, ha, boys are gay. Something about rugby, boys are gay. They just being gay, ne? <laughs> no, bro. Y'all uh, be grabbing each other's bums on the field. Pam kwa bandu. It's a sport. Pam kwa bandu. I know, bro. That's bad, bro. <laughs> Are you blushing <laughs> there? I'm joking. No, no, but it's not I really. feel like you should be in the video. I feel like yeah, also bro, shalala. Like, what's your share, bro? <laughs> also, what's your shalala? Is it gonna use space for him, like the camera wise? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Oh, that was supposed to be like an insult to that sister. I'm sitting up for you. Introduce, I'm gonna introduce you. Okay, so we already mentioned earlier. What's your shalala? We already mentioned earlier Ugo Tumabu was behind the scenes, but we've now shinjat the plan and he's now on, on camera and adding his own commentary. 
and you know what some of the questions will also be directed at you yes let's get into it next one um is it a red flag being interested in men trick question it's a red billboard so if i get in brackets trick question it's a billboard and to be honest that's fair interested in men all right bro i'm straight so nah that's a no for me Explain. say the question say the question so again. the red flag so they and ask, don't add billboard or whatever okay just the, red, the, question. the question is is it a red flag to be interested in men yes what wait <laughs> next time red so, flag to who just in general are you interested in men no Thank you. <laughs> okay, so next <laughs> one. Is it a red flag if his followings are full of girls in bikinis? I man, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Just give him water, man. Water. Because you're thirsty. Nah, bro. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm thirsty, but like, if they following me, bro, and I do find you. them. No, I'm just putting myself, like, I'm making an example, bro. Like, if they're following me, for example, and then, you know, you seeing that, I mean, it's, it's, it's a win-win, bro. Like, it's not, a, it's not a drag, but, you know, next question, bro. You know, is it a red flag for them, so obviously your romantic partner, to be really close with your best friends? Hell no, nah. we're that's, not doing that, baby. I'm sorry. That's always so suspicious. Uh -huh. Because the only way you should know them is through me. So, what what's going on? Oh. What's going on when I'm not there? No. Nope. Uh -uh. Okay, next one. Is it a red flag to have an overly protective partner? Um, I mean, it depends. Like, if she's over, if she's like overly protective, but like she makes it, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, it has to be. I don't know, know, man. I, I have a feeling I okay. know what you're gonna say. Yeah, like it needs to be romantic. Like, okay, no, overly protective. Like aggressive. It needs to be actually protecting. Like, like just plain simple protective. Or no, let's say the person could stop it themselves. Why are you protecting them? Why are you doing stop more than you themselves. need to? Like why be fine? Because sometimes you haven't drawn the boundary, so I have to. Yeah, but also that's problematic because why have you great. not drawn the boundary? I will girls be telling their boyfriends, but I don't like that you do X, Y, Z, and then guys don't do anything about it, they don't draw the boundary. So the problem isn't with like the partner being overly protective, it's the problem is the partner not drawing the boundary, yeah, not Used. taking action, bro. So, next one is a red flag. Is it a red flag for girls to carry their own condoms? Yes. No. Yes. No. Wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. No. It's no. not, bro. She's helping you out. Wait, no. Because how many times... <laughs> are she supposed, <laughs> no, bro, like, are she supposed to have them? Exactly. I agree with you there. But at the same time, bro, if you're going to a party, you don't always think you're going to get booty, bro. Like, sometimes you just go in there for vibes, and then something happens, and then she surprises you with the condom. Like, I, I like you, girls. Thank okay, you. no, then. Yeah. Thank you. You've helped me out, bro. I would have had 10 children by now. But anyway, next question. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, bro, I also like... want to ask. Nah, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wait, like that, but wait, then... It's like that. Okay. Don't, don't pick up. Okay. I also feel like it's important for girls to carry their own condoms, because dudes be like, eh, yeah, you know, I forgot. Go to, yeah, let's do it. I'll pull out. Eh? Do you know how many people are pregnant or have pull-out babies? Mm. So, yeah, no, we're not Wait. doing that. Okay, is it a red flag um, if you smoke? Smoke what? Depends on what, bro. Yeah, it depends on what you smoke, bro. Mm. Nah, bro, like, I, I, <laughs> I, I feel like nothing's wrong with weed, bro. Like, weed is yeah, nice, yeah. bro. Like, it's spiritual, bro. Lying for those guys that are smoking rock and all these other things. I right, dog, your life, I right, it's tough, and I right? Mabuto, stop it, bro. Okay, now, as a house guest, I'll just throw guys in my fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that's...
basically the end of all the red flags and stuff. Uh -huh. Now we're going on to questions. Ooh. Okay. Question number one. Actually, I'm not going to number them. I'm going to lose count. What is something weird that you've seen your siblings do? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Bro, I swear, he be gaming and like I be on my phone. All of a sudden, oh my god, bro. Oh my. And I'm like, bro, what's going on, dog? Like, relax, bro. Like, he just twitches a lot. I'm sorry, guys. He twitches a lot. I get it. He's excited, but man, sometimes I be, I be freaked out. Like, yeah, bro. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I love the silence. It's just like thinking of all the ways to get you back. I'm gonna take that. Okay. Do you want to answer the question? Ndando. What is it? What? Okay, what okay, okay wait. Do? What did she do that yeah. she found weird? Um, she overreacts to getting scared. Yeah, that's oh, true. Oh, yes. yeah. That's no, true. okay, wait. But let me explain. You guys don't play fair. So, in this house, yeah. no, no. no house is supposed... In wait. this house, ne, you be chilling, minding your own business. <laughs> and then these creepy crawlies. Be jumping out of nowhere, right? And then obviously Uzo talk. So I don't put the blame on Dando for that one. You guys, no, you don't play fair. You, especially with that, you guys take it too far in It's Bro, not it's even that far. Like she'll just be walking along Bro. the corridor. I know she doesn't notice me in the room. I just walk out and go, huh? This and one jumps to the wall. Bro, like I feel she's too dramatic, but yeah. Okay. Um, weird thing that I've seen my sibling do, it depends on which sibling. Because you all have like your weird quirks. I Say this know. one. Avenge me. This one. Oh, it was at your dad's place. Like the first couple of weeks <gasps> of days we met. No, bro. <laughs> Say it. Bro. Oh my God, so now bro. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen, Ish. right? No, okay. So there were two instances. So the first one was... He was washing dishes. He was in the kitchen washing dishes. And he was having his whole, like, main character moments. You know, applaud that. It was just weird to walk in on. But that's not the bad part. So then later on, I think it was just the two of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then he's in the lounge. I'm coming from the room. So as in Jiggy Corner, he's in the lounge doing Chang Fu, Kang Ting, King Kang Ka. And then as I walk and he's in... There, I twitch. Nah, bro. Nah, but yours is bad, nah. bro. I was really like shadow boxing, bro. And then she comes dude, in the room. Dude, like he's fighting. I don't know who he's fighting. Maybe <laughs> his demons, bro. But it was so bad. Bro. It was so bad. I almost and knocked her out. Shy. I almost knocked her out. Imagine, and yeah. then when I back up, because obviously I almost got hit, he's just like, why are you moving like that? <laughs> it, yeah, man. Okay, so next one, first impression of each other. First impression. Okay, when I when I first met Come in. Come in. Come in. You can pause it and you'll come back. Yeah. Alright. It's second. Says hello. Whoa, whoa, pause it. Yo, like my boots are boy, 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 boy. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna keep this entire part in just because. I thought this was our room. Yes, it is your room, but like. But you don't have to do that, bro. What you doing, bro? Okay. Um. Wait, wait, we in the questions. Are scaling pants? Uh, no, that's red flags. Yes. What was? Yeah, first impressions of each other. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, how can I put this, bro? When I first met her, I was like, okay, this is my stepsister. She's my age. I don't know, man. For me, my first impression of you has actually really nothing to do with you. I was mad at Tuma. Mm -hmm. And so now... Every time I'd watch you two interact, 
I'd be like, oh, oh mama, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it had nothing to do with you. Yeah. And yeah, I think I was also too awkward to 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 to. Nah, yeah, like, there was obviously meeting this person for the first time. And uh, yeah, I'd say it was awkward, yeah. But also, nothing... the first time we met, I don't think I acknowledge like I obviously acknowledged your existence, Wukon, okay. But I was so flabbergasted by the fact that my mom is here with this dude. And this child suddenly so was running around like everything is all hunky dirt and I'm just like, what's going on for me? And she was like confused. Bro. I was so confused. And I feel like I was it was sprung on me. It wasn't like oh my gently be like, okay, listen, so you're gonna meet Ka. She was just like, Oh, I'm at this place, come meet me here. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. Cause Mina, I was not it was Thunder's birthday. I remember that day. It was Thunder's birthday. We were at Gateway and Oh yeah, you were booked at that place, right? Yes. Yeah. And then I ended up babysitting because I was supposed to chaperone. Undando, you know, Dando. She was just like, you don't need to tell Ma that we went together the entire day. And I was like, you know what, Sharp? I'm not feeling like following you guys around the mall. <laughs> so I ended up with the kid. And then at some point, I was just like, I am you turned late to late. So then I was like, Ma, where are you? And then when Sunny saw and I get to Uma, she's there with the dude. And I was so confused. I'm not gonna lie. I know that feeling. It was the other day when I met my stepdad, bro. Like she just walked in the room. She's like, "Hi, Hassan." And I'm like, "This guy even knows my name, bro." Yo, like, what? In your dad? Your dad was like, "Hi, Lord." He said me. He said my name, and he was telling me my life story. I was like, "No, man." I think I was just so confused and flabbergasted. Uh, Parents are wrong for that, bro. That guy knew nothing about me when he first met me, dog. He, he literally interrogated me at the movies. That was the My first dad. time I met Yes. He took you to the movies? Yeah. And he just interrogated me while these people are ordering ticket stuff. What did he, what, what did he say? He's like, what school did you guys go to? How school? And, and just carried on from there. The first but conversation when... I had with your dad, we were, we were all there, it was the four of us. And he was talking about the whole music thing and mm-hmm. how you also do IT. And he was just like, you two... Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, he yeah, probably don't. Yeah. And then he was like, you two are so similar. And I was oh, like, yeah, I remember that. And I was like, Brad, at this time, we you don't have to do that. Like... And Lopo suddenly saw, it's like, this is my bro, this is my bro. And I was like, <laughs> can you give me a second to wrap my head around the whole thing? <laughs> so yeah, my first impression of you actually had nothing to do with you at mm-hmm. all. It was just in shape. It seemed. Oh, we're talking about first impression. Yes. Like, <laughs> I think I first saw you in like, black stuff. So I don't know. You went, you didn't look like the people who just attack people at malls, but now like, you look. Are you calling me my I didn't say that. But you insinuating. It was other that, but like. You said people who attack people in malls. Bro, this guy is like, saying I'm a little cheesy, bro. Nah, nah, fam. Uh, I might like the baggy fashion, but nah, bro. It's not, it's not, it's not a healthy look. Like, uh. A thug-ish vibe. Thug-ish vibe. So with the earrings, how does it look? I you look you know, you look like the person who would buy you a, a, a thug. <sighs> I think yeah. that's more insulting. <laughs> to look like a thug is one thing. To look like you'd buy you a, a thug is a completely I, different. I, he's confused this one, eh? But I get you, bro. Okay, so next question. Are you guys single? I'm single. I'm single. <laughs> yes, I'm single. I was... <laughs> no, he laughed. Mama was waiting for you to reply. And Bro, then... like I'm single. I mean, you can you can put whatever in the comments, you know, like them digits, but I'm single. But yeah, I'm focused right now. So on what? On who? I'm focused on my life. You know me. I'm trying to spiritually gain. That, that that mindset back, you know? The consciousness, all of that. <laughs> yeah, bro, all of that. Right to you. Next question. Have you ever cheated or been cheated on? I've been cheated on. I've never cheated. I feel she capping. 
I think you'd say yes to both questions. I would say yes to both questions. It's true, guys. It's not an L, especially when you think she's a girl. I know these things. You know, I just know these yeah, things. Yeah, um, fam. Let's she, rewind. She okay, you answered the question. What do you mean I'm capping? Nah, I feel you've also done some snake shit in the past, bro. You know, there, no. there are rumors that go out. You know. Exactly that, rumors. But these rumors are like kind of things I see. Kind of things you see. Okay, the game went three and it go down. I didn't, there's way too many familiar faces. Doing is small, especially at DHS. It's like DHS goes and compresses the whole of Devon. And there's just some uh, faces I don't want to see. I've been made with my understanding, my monster. bad, but. A monster. Of how? Shut up. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I've been cheated on. Guys, hey, that's the. Like, I feel like, yes, it's true, but you can get over. You can, no, but you can get over that. Like, your feelings will heal at some point. For me, it's just disrespectful and embarrassing. Because imagine you're going out in public, my man, my man, my man. Because mm. it's not yours. Yo, not yours. yo, out. Yo. Stop. Lapo, like with my situation, what's worse is the girl knew what I was in the picture. So, and then what in were in the whatever happened, Uguti, she did it on purpose because apparently she didn't like, I didn't even know she existed. Mm. But she knew I existed, but still did it anyway. Yeah, guys. Can you insult a man for cheating? I. Uh, that's a girl thing. I mean, yeah. I know, like, every time a girl cheats, there's always gonna be an insult, dog. But, like, when a man cheats, like. No, I'm okay. You can me. attempt to, but doesn't mean they're gonna care. Because, like, with me, I told them straight up, because there was a whole. Thing. I'm oh, not gonna keep her. I'm not gonna keep her cold. their family business. But like I literally said that because no, like father, like son. What you mean? Yeah. yeah. So you can attempt to. What say if it lands or it doesn't? Literally depends on the other person because it depends. Nah, if they I was or trying not. to keep like a sad face. I, I try these things. She calls me desensitized. Hey, anyway, moving on. Have you ever cheated or been cheated on? Before we move on. Hello. Bye bye. Are you sure they're my shoes? Where's my shoes? They're mama's shoes. Oh, they're behind you. This is getting edited out. <laughs> We're definitely editing this out. Okay. Have you ever cheated or been cheated on? No. All right. Do you think that aliens are real or not? Yes, they're real. You can't tell me in the entire universe, the entire galaxy, it is the only one with like all the properties to yeah. sustain life. You can't tell me. There's no way. It's like taking a spoon going into the ocean. Or well, not going inside, like just scooping a bit you of the ocean and saying, since there's no sharks in my spoon, there's no sharks in the ocean. Like, come on, bro. Also... It, def- it also depends on what we define aliens as because yeah. aliens are technically like no those, those are like outer like space type of creatures. Keep beings. calling them aliens, I'm not gonna believe you or, or them. Okay, what what would you like it's, us to call like, them? And us, but every time you say alien, green thing, black eyes. It's like because that's what the media has taught us to believe. Yeah. But they exist, Bab. Jen Bobo, we haven't even explored the rest of our oceans. Exactly. Stop it, they're there. They yeah, stop it, they're there. They're hiding. Oh. Seven feet in the ocean. Willow projects will fix them. Even like in movies, like have you, have you noticed like most of like these, also like these new science fiction movies, it's always dealing with something in the water. So there's something they've probably found that they're trying to explain to us. Okay, but, can yeah. we go to a different section? This one's bigger than some. What you mean, bro? You're already describing too much. He's stupid. That's a problem. Okay, next question. How do you feel mm, about age mm. gaps? Age gaps. Age gaps. How do you feel about age gaps, bro? How do you feel about age gaps? Like in Jolo age gaps. Age gap can be okay. Pendul? Me, guys, I won't lie to you. If, if the age is like, let's say, three years apart, I feel that's safe. 
like it's not bad because like our parents are like you know a few years apart so I, I, it's equal i, I like think them. in context is so important because you can't tell me in high school for the age gaps are not important yeah. because they are in high school every year is such an important part of your life yeah. like and there's so much difference you can't tell me umoto who's in grade nine who has not picked their subjects yet who are still doing all 1300 subjects it's gonna be jola with a metric not, okay metric is too far it's not gonna jola with a grade 11. grade 11 bro they were really thinking about unis that they need to apply for yeah no guys come on let's be so realistic come on in high school age gaps for me are a no also like a then one year two year three year four year five starts to matter less and less and less as you grow and also different generations see it in a different way because all the generations believe that type of thing was cool and it was normalized for them in this day and age guys come on you don't see like child marriages being okay in society now uh -huh. it's just like why not age gaps, age gaps. yes what's your opinion on it um, so you so you have a relationship with someone that's in grade six no why not no why not I'd have to speak to someone that I feel is on my level. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. Thank you. That's exactly what I'm considering. Because umu often to grade six is not on your level because of the age gap. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Next <laughs> question. <laughs> what is the cringiest thing a James or a Han has done to you? It's a lot. I like had a friend in high school. Like, bro, he was like very cool. Like, I found him very cool. To a point where, like, you see, when I'm training, I'll be like, yo, bro, I wish my homie was here. Like, he was just a cool person to be around. Until he did something zesty in class and he blew me a kiss. And I was like, yo, that's not cool, bro. And he continued doing it. Because I think, you know, these Uzi guys, they, they start to influence that. You know that? Yeah, nah, bro, it's not cool. It depends who you do it to, though. But, yeah. At least you lived in an age where you can say it's not cool, dog. Yeah, bro. Wow. BE really. boys. It's just like that. Every BE boy. Yeah. Guys. There's a lot well, of no, that I'm goes not, I'm not that doing BE. this to them. In any BE in J, any school that has a boarding establishment, Kuningi, mm. that's going on there. Mm. And something that, this is a warning to all girls out there. If your dude is in the BE, because you will end up getting the entire BE. I'm not gay. I'm just like, <laughs> no, guy. because like, early in the video, I did this and like, I'm trying to make sure. You please don't edit that out. Okay, okay. We keep it there. It's a wrap. Um, okay. The cringiest thing, it was a chance, right? And this is the reason why I never had a whole face in high school. I almost did, and he killed the whole thing for me. Right. So let me explain. It well was done. to the guy, bro. Yeah. Yo, dude, <laughs> what do you system, mean? Bro. Yo, I should have. Oh, it's it. Imagine guy. I went to that school afterwards. Imagine going, seeing the person I child your sister. I'd leave. Dog. Mm, I'm mm, not coming mm. to school. <laughs> wait, Imagine, wait, bro, wait. Like there's so much. We'll, we'll come back to this. But let me explain. So it was okay. So in grade nine, I was in a relationship. And then I still got night with that person because they were an asshole. And then I took like this vow of celibacy where I was just like, you know what? No more people in my life singing right. Come grade 10. So like just before lockdown, I never le left the house by the way. I was a homebody through and through and my mom was strict. So come grade 10, my best guy friend is just like, hey, yo, Ginger, come on, there's a game. Come at least watch the game. It's, you know what? Let me show support to my homies. So... I pulled up with my one friend. My one friend, she's not there to watch the game. She's there for Mjolo, right? I've never seen her wear a dress in her life. That day she was wearing a scopezor, right? But anyway, proud of her. So we get to the game. She immediately ditches me to go Jola. No, no, no. Actually, she didn't immediately leave me. They were both together. It was a one, but they were Jola ring. It was a one and made me so uncomfortable. So I told them to just disappear. 
right so i'm watching my homie play Alt, 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 alt. And then after his game, we were hanging out. Okay, fine. And then at some point, I don't know how, I ended up babysitting everyone. The reason why I was babysitting was because everyone there was trolling or with, was with someone. What? You want the bonnet? Anyway. Hey. So everyone was there with somebody, like the squad that we were sitting with, they were all in trolling or with someone. And I was there on my own. And then my friend was just like, hey, yo, bro, just like find some dude. It's in, no, no, no. It's like, come on, start a whole thing. I was like, you know what? Okay, let me let me try. Let me attempt. This one dude walked up to me. We started chatting. And I was kind of like, ish, okay, whatever. I was not attracted to him, but then I was doing it just because. So he ended up walking me to the tech shop and walking me back. And it was a whole thing. And then... When we come back, everyone is scattered. Everyone is in that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner. You guys know what people do in the corners. So uh -huh. we found a bench and we sat down. As we're sitting down, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. And then out of the blue, he leans in trying to kiss me. But he leaned in at such a weird angle that my glasses literally twisted off my face and fell off. Right? That was the first time. You get to say, hey, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> And then I scooched away a little bit, but we were still talking. Yeah, yeah, talking, 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 talking. And then he tried to kiss me again, but his Look mouth. Keep on my eh? I'm Same. not keeping names. I'm not keeping yeah, names. Keep it calm. I don't then, know. then he comes in the second time with his mouth literally wide open, trying to shove his tongue down my throat, and I was just like. I didn't even know what eggs were back then, but egg, and I, I stood up and I left. Mm. That was the cringiest thing that a guy has ever done to me. Cause uh -huh. time, time. Uh -huh. Yeah, ne? Yeah. You have any stories? Okay, eh, hey, hey, Kuluma, speak up. Speak, speak up. up. Speak up. You should be a boy, man. What do they do? Yeah, I don't even want to know what did they do. Next question. He's traumatized. Whatever you be boys do to him, stop it, man. Boys traumatized now. Stop it, guys. Um. Okay. Someone asked, "What to put drug or no?" I'm guessing they're referring to you. Yes, he is. Um. Why does he vape? Why do you vape? Why do I vape? Ah, oh, ah! I know he's asking the question. Ah. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. The flavor is nice. Like it just feels good, bro. Like it's better than. Lancy, hmm? they didn't say vape. They said cream shoes. That's weird. Yeah. One cape. No, bro. No, that's not what they're referring to. Who's the person asked the question? Well, obviously, we know who asked the question. I went and asked him. I'm the person. So I'm the one who told him cream shoes is. How you know what green shoof is? Yeah, I bro. said green shoof is I weed. I found it in his bag. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Imagine, I found jean. Uh, yeah, Cap. No, to this day, I still think that's yours. Bro, I'm yeah, not I. lying. Oh, no. Dude, be honest with me, bro. I was looking for something in your bag, and I opened the first zip, and I saw that thing hanging. I was like, ah, this guy. You say maybe he puts it in there. And then, well, no, the funny thing okay, was, on the same day, he was like, so drowsy and i'm dude, like dude and i remember and like i'm not saying that you are right i do I but do. for the last couple of weeks i will catch him at the most random of moments where his eyes are red Bro. and i'm like what's going on ah this guy like we're a safe space yeah so bro this guy the person can ask the who asked the question Okay. Okay. Uh, let's pendulate. What was your question? Oh, why? Why do you smoke weed? Spiritual. Weed is nice. Yeah, spiritual. That's what bro. he's gonna say. And no, no, but it like, takes on a, like me to the ancestral plane. ancestral plane, bro. You know, all that I that I knew it. Like, come on. Guys. I knew. I knew the you know answer. That third eye, everything, bro. Those yeah. ancestors. No, but like, we're gonna put them in the pool tomorrow. Okay. 
But like on a serious note, it also opens up your mind, bro. Like as much as you do seem lazier, because like no cap, bro. People that smoke, we stop lying to people. It does make you lazy, but it does open your mind. But yeah. Okay. Next question. What is your type? What is your mouth to the camera? You see, Nothing. I'm gonna be editing this. So <laughs> what? What's your type? What's my type? Mm -hmm. In a female. Mm -hmm. nah, you know, in a guy. Men. Uh, I know I'm uh, describing. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm describing what's my type in a female, bro. What's my type of a female? Nowadays, I just like quiet girls, but y'all the ones that be hoeing. I'm so sorry, bro. Like, this other girl, bro, she was innocent. Like, you see when you look at her, dog. You just be like, oh, she has no friends. I don't even think she has a family, bro. Like, yo, bruh. You just want to nourish her. Ah, until you meet the friends and you're like, ah, you. I see what's going on here. But, yeah. I don't know, bro. You have to be obviously pretty. You have to be focused. But at the same time, you can't get a guy with the vision when you don't have anything upstairs yourself. Second, I mean, third of all, uh, body. Body and face have to go. Like, bro, I'm not sacrificing one of the two. Yeah. And when? When? Answer like the question. You have to like them. Okay, what makes you like them? What if it's like some para looking girl and she looks hot? You just said para looking <laughs> girl. They look hot. <laughs> bro, you know what I've seen, bro? It's bad out here. No. I can't yeah, hear that my bonus for one second. What do you mean? What bro? do you mean? Yeah, come on. This thing of his just. I don't understand. What's your type, dog? This guy is. <laughs> um. 50% chance to date a black girl. The other 50 spreads out to the others. But like not evenly, so. Ish. Yeah. Except shush. Um, the engine right here. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, Wait, no. I'm, we're gonna no. interrogate you. After this video, uh, dude. we're gonna interrogate Wait, no, how? To. Wait, no, what is the thing again? What is the question? What did you say? The Indian ones. The Indian ones. There's a specific girl that came to mind as soon as you said that. That's why we're going to interrogate you after this. So you're going to tell us what's going on. Yeah, I didn't right. say they were higher percent. No, hey, it's fine. No, I'll show you loot. It's fine. <laughs> Come back. Answer the question. Um. Yeah, face and body. Have, they, they go to and two. It's not by separately, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it made it so complicated, but okay. Um, okay, so my type is, I don't even know what my type is because my previous type has obviously shown to be disastrous, so I'm reevaluating my life. But, but I am previously, I was the type of person who would be like, Oh, personality matters, that's the dumbest thing I've ever said. If they're going to play with you, at least they must be a 10 and not a 2. Yeah, well, like you can't. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, I'm still reevaluating my life. Maybe some other day I'll know what my type is. Yeah. Next question Where do you see yourself in five years? Yo, nice question. I see myself with cars that i actually do like like bro i have a dream car you know tesla bro like i do see that uh out of this country because yo bro load shedding is bad like yo dude just imagine you driving but yeah man out of this country for sure imagine um, tesla with load shedding dude how do you trust the ah oh, bro how do you trust the right guys come on yeah, also focusing on like the things I want to do because I do want to get back into the gym, like seriously. Maybe even be a fitness coach when I'm ready, you know, after a few years. And yeah, what? man, even music wise, travel the world. Definitely, I want to be like a video. I'm not like, gonna you know, lie, this, this, this question shit. literally. But I actually am, but it, yeah. 
it tires me out even going to my bouncers. Because you're stupid, as I say. In five years, you better be yes. matriculating. Oh no, I am. I love that. Then you don't need to stress about it. You'll see it then. Yeah, girl. It's only after I'm matriculating. God damn, you still gonna be in school. Oh no, dude. You really young, dog. Yeah. How are you still gonna be in South Africa? Huh? No, I was, I'll make sure I was, bro. <laughs> You're gonna um, be a border jumper, Shanghai number two. Y'all can be here with your load shedding, bro. Where do I see myself in five years? Graduating. Um, yes, what do you mean? Have you not graduated from now? From university? Five years. No. Five years. Mm -mm. My course is three and a half years, but then I get the timeline. Just say UK, I fan. Mm -hmm. So by then, graduated, um, travel, traveled like a little bit, traveled the world, and published properly published like a poetry book because I've been speaking about that, and then also like have a music career of some sort. Like um, I, I by then I should have started because I keep saying I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start, and I keep not doing it. So by then, I must have a music career. Next one, most likely to get into a fight. Yes. That Why? Would, That's a weird question. Like, we're how? not even going to question. You would be the one to get into a fight. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Was it ye was it yesterday when Melo bro, was here? Bro, yeah, yesterday, bro. This dude was provoking people who were walking Ipsu. Like, nah, but like I, I see what they're trying to do, bro. Me, I don't like that stuff, bro. Yes, which I understand. So we were going to like a shop that was like around the corner. So when we we're walking out of the shop, now we're walking back home. Obviously, these dudes um are trying to like holler, I guess, holler, and then. He starts provoking them, and I was just like, Bazi, why are you at Quebec? Are you like shouting? Actually, about... I wanted them to come. What were I like, you gonna I, do? I like they dressing like older guy, people. Bro. You like what? Anything. Dressing older people in anything. Nah, but I'm not sure. 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 I'm not but like I saw there was security, so I'm like I'm not gonna do anything anyway. But hey, man. Hey, anyways, what would you tell your younger self? Jump! Don't be a, don't be afraid to jump. <laughs> don't be afraid to <laughs> jump. Bro. Nah, like diving like situations. Literally, like, what you nah. First word, jump. That triggered me today. Second what one, dive. That's all you had to do. Three. Water. If you said water, it's actually gonna slap yeah. you there. Water. <laughs> Jump, dive, water. <laughs> what, did, what were we supposed to do today? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Jump, bro. Like, I did jump, though. You're making it nah, seem like no. I did jump, bro. jump and my mind went so weird. These guys are so perverted, fat. bro. Like, I don't know what they're thinking about, bro. What? What for? Explain your for. Jump. Yes. Jump. Yes. Think about it. Jump. I mean, I don't even know what it is. Okay. Yeah. It just sounded I... so deep that you were just like, jump. I was like, hey? Okay. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, what would you say to your younger self? Uh, He's, he is a younger self. Figure out something before 18. Huh. Figure out something before 18. Is scary for Dude, me, like, you are literally a kid still. Then, cons, I, I don't know what to say to myself now. Alright, what I'd say to my younger self depends at which age, because different ages need different advice. Yeah. Grade 9 me. That I'll tell her to her face. She was a straight up baddie. She had a loud mouth, but she was a straight up baddie, and that's the only version of me that stood up for myself. Then, younger me, like just before, a like what is it, ten or eleven years old? That version of me, 
I'd tell her, we will say, start doing drugs. That's the only way you'll cope. Yeah. Imagine telling an 11 year old to, to do drugs. Damn. I think, I think telling your younger self that to drug. I make this video. I think good luck. I need at some point. Can, can, you, you know, I we're think, gonna move like, on. Um, so somebody asks, oh, so both of you are musicians, so aspiring, no, wait, this one. aspiring, he is one, yeah. Why are you making that face? How is he a musician? He literally has music out. Exactly. That Sam so always used to play in front of you, and you also played it at some point. He was pressing buttons on his phone. No, there was the one song of his that would play all the time. If I had my phone, I would open SoundCloud and show you. Elevate. Okay. Does singing make you a musician? So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, next one, most likely to have a wardrobe malfunction. I think it will be me. Ah, yeah, no, actually. You remember what happened when we were changing for the game? This one had, this one had a oh, whole shit. yes, actually. Missed one shit yes. twice. But hold on. Yes. Bro, like. Like his, like his outfit malfunctions before we've even stepped out of the house. Yeah. Like for me, something has to happen. And it's like a once in a while occur. Yeah, Nanjan. Um, which is funny because the next question is who takes longer to get ready? The second question is relax. I see the screen. Yes. Bro, if you're trying to go out, look hard, look nah, bro, you're gonna take long, bro. I'm sorry guys, you just have to dress for the occasion, you know? Like people going to be looking at you, they're going to be taking selfies, what's what you know, pictures, all of that. To get ready, bro. Like you all know I said to you only to leave the house by eleven. He will only start getting ready at like half past ten, knowing he's the type of person who needs an hour to get ready. It makes no sense to me. It is um who's most likely to be the cool parent? This one was parenting Sunny Lisa this whole morning, so I'm gonna say Big motion. I raised you. I was a quiet child back then. I still raised you. As a quiet child. You know you what? The point. You know what? I'm going to accept. Ogle T, no one in this house is ever gonna think I will be the cool parent. I'm more suited to be a cool aunt than a parent. But yeah, man, I've accepted that it's not me. Maybe it is you, will die, but it's okay. not me. Okay, you can take care of children. Cool parent does not say take care of children. Okay, explain what the cool parent yeah, does. Yeah, bro, because like, a parent does take care of a child. Yes. Cool or not yeah. cool. Cool or not cool, the, the parent's job is to take care of the children. Yes. Yeah. But we're saying cool parent. Hey. Uh -huh. So define who cool parents were. Cool parents, yeah. What's this? They can do their thing. It's a regular thing. But cool parents, they can hang out with their children no matter. They don't get irritated by the children as easily, ne? Yeah. Yeah. The arrow. Why are you trying to irritate me on purpose? I'm not. Not in this instant, but in general, Jay. And like, yeah. Okay, compare me to Sunny Liso. Taking care of a quiet child, taking care of Sunny Liso is two different things. But I did it both. Okay, with Sunny Liso, you just made sure that he was alive, entertained by himself next to you, and you were still with him. This one did, could be alone, could be with him. And there's those things up. He made Sunny Lee so what's this? I'm not sure what he was doing with the a V in his leg. I think it was. No, it's also Kazete Ning. 
also cousin Amy. Oh. You like your point. This one's been doing thing. this this whole YouTube video. What? Tazering. Exactly, because there are questions, bro. These are some questions. Yes. Yeah, like... <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the original question. Who do you think would be a cool parent? I love how he didn't even consider himself in that lineup. I don't even know how that am I having kids. Wait, no, I probably am not. Probably. Okay, you're probably having kids, but you don't see yourself as one of the cool parents. Mm. Oh. Alright, moving on to the next question. Who is the funny one between okay, obviously the three of you? I feel like we just all have different senses of humor. Yeah, humana. true. I also have a sense of Because what they find funny, obviously I won't find funny. But what I find funny, they won't find funny. Yeah. Yes. That's the, that's the best way to explain that, it. That's like life explained, bro. Because me now, I'm hilarious. I'm funny. They are never going to say that. But I'm also not going to turn around and be like, I know, you see? Because it's different humans. Get to why. So basically, that is essentially the end of the Q&A, like those are all the questions done. Do you have anything to add? No, but... Are you guys still virgins? I am. I am. Pambili, goodbye, Gigi, Pambili. It's not this little thing. It's probably birds in my ass. I'm still a virgin, nothing's not her badge. What do you mean? I doubt they can even hear you. The original question there was a question that you asked here earlier the the d flower one what what did you say oh i asked you if you are deflowered didn't you ask when no oh yeah when did you deflower so obviously never because i'm still mm. so when did you deflower when did i deflower <laughs> using the word deflower is crazy to me still but yeah uh, what else was it? 16, yeah. Mm, I know. Bro, that's like the proper <laughs> age. I knew Look, it, I knew it. Like, for a guy growing up, especially like in a school where there's boys and girls like that, it's, 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 gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be easier to slide through, man. Like, come on, bro. What is he laughing at? I don't know. Oh. Oh. I remember what one of our quizzes was saying of when we go to grade 10. Oh, what did yeah. the prefect say? I can't say. What did the prefect say? Did he say that you're gonna. Who said what said? Yes, Bubbles, he brings it up and then he does this. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that is essentially the end of the video. We've done all the questions. Thank you so much to everybody who submitted something. Lots of love. Also, thank you for my brothers for joining me today and. um for answering the unfiltered Q and A and the red flags. Until next time, my lovely people. Bye.